Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Drew Kid is here. What's up? I am going to do a full face beat with this new Twisted Beauty PR that was sent to me. Now, if you're new here, like skin product reviews and tutorials and makeup reviews, you're in the right place. Go ahead, click subscribe and also make sure you ring the bell, of course. Now, in today's video, I am going to announce my very first giveaway. I'm super excited for this because I've hit 100 subscribers and I definitely want to go ahead and give back to you guys for, you know, giving to me. So keep watching because I'm going to mention the details and the products that are going to go out in that giveaway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in with your boy Drew. I'm trying to wink there, but you know. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in guys what I did really quick off camera was hooked up my base so that way we have a nice blank canvas to perfect now what we have is the PR package from Twisted Beauty. She included a little card this time here. Twisted Beauties, come take a walk on the Twisted side of beauty. Brandy, also Katie, they are independent makeup creators. I will drop all of the information down below in the description. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, for the palette, this is what we have. Nice little component. And then it comes with our lovely shades. Um, this here is the little dual chrome with the orange and a purple. Once you swatch it and combine, it comes out pretty, pretty, pretty. Really freaking pretty, if you ask me. Now, I also have received four matte shades. Um, these come in little components, which is, comes in a little cute bag. What I have done here is actually swatch two of them. They are the matte shades. They are not pressed. So if you're thinking about the mattes, definitely keep that in mind. What I have is Atlantis, this here bottom green, and then Loch Ness, which is this here darker kind of pine tree green. Now, these palettes are amazing and I'm going to tell you why. You could actually custom your palettes. So she does have set layouts, but if you want to work with her and pick your colors, which I have done, you could also do that. So, you know, if you like one color, don't like another one, remove it, add it, switch it up, pick and choose. So that's one awesome thing I like about this brand. Now, for today's theme, as you see, I got my Jeffree Star approved mirror ready to go. I am actually excited for the Bloodlust collection that's launching. I don't know if this video's out already before I get it, more power to me. If not, I am getting it, and this is going to inspire me to want it even more. So we're going to go ahead and go in with these shades the best I can. May, you know, use this as a transition shade and darker and inner creases. So, without further ado, like I said, let's get going with me, the Drew. Alright, so, we are actually going to go ahead and take a nice little... BS small brush and go in with this lighter shade for a transition. So we're gonna dip it in there. Now before I do that, let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. This is a nice interesting chrome like color. So we're going to use that as a transition and then we're going to go ahead and build up into the darker colors off of that. So now with the next darkest purple we have here, I'm going to plug that into the outer corner. And of course before I apply it, 
Let's go ahead and swatch it right next to the other one. Now it is actually creating like a dark purple blue effect. Um, let's swatch the other ones. Let me get a makeup wipe here. I want to go ahead and swatch the other purples because uh, of course one an all purple theme. This is kind of giving me a blue vibe. Of course I'll use it in another video, but for this video we want to stay with the purple. We got the bloodlust coming out. So next I'm going to go ahead and swatch this purple. And with her product, this is, like I said, my second palette. There's no fallout. So that's really, really good. Now this purple, it is pretty purple and pretty pigmented. But it does have a lot of reflex in it. So if you're going for a glitter moment, that's your girl. That is the one you want right there. But, while we're swatching, I'm going to go ahead and do this top purple. Let's see how that comes out. No fallout in the pan, which is fantastic. Fantastic if you ask me. Alright, now this one is like a very shiny nice looking purple. I like that purple a lot. But what I'm gonna do of course is go in with this dark purple and then blend it into this lighter purple and then we'll probably plug this purple back into the inner crease. Alright folks, so I did go ahead and jump off camera and set up this eye for you guys. Kind of just wanted to get in tune with the palette, you know, be one with the colors, make sure you know, the blending ride doing what I wanted them to do, and overall, they did exactly what I wanted to do. So let me go ahead and give you the live show of this eye, and we'll get you guys this full review as we go through. Now, as I stated, we have swatched all the colors. I did stay away from this color because it was giving me a blue vibe, and, you know, with the bloodlust, it's purple. So, we're going to kind of stay away from that one. But, going back through the groove, we go ahead and go in with this lighter purple. Now, with these colors, there is just a tiny bit of fallout in the pan, not on my face. Some people get upset about the fallout in the pan, some don't care, so I just want to be, you know, 100% transparent with you guys and let you know that it does exist. So, we are taking that lighter purple and we're just going to go ahead and blend this above the brow bone. And this is going to kind of give us that transition shade. Now, with hooded eyes, to make sure you're going to see all of your pigment and all your colors, you want to go above your crease. My eyes aren't too hooded, but I do have some hood there. So, we are going to... Plug that right above the crease on the actual brow bone. Keep in mind this is your transition shape. Yeah. So, you know, it's not necessarily needed to be seen 100%, but you do want it to peek out of your colors. So, with that, we're just going to go ahead and apply it, and then we're going to wipe off the excess of our brush, and then make sure that's fully blended up into that top corner. Now this purple, it is a light purple and it is giving me a nice transition there. So, so far, so good. This is so good. It's so good. Alright, so now with our next color, which is this third color, darker purple. It does have some nice reflexes in there. We're going to go ahead and pick that up on the brush. And then what we're going to do, 
What do y'all think I'm going to do? What do y'all think I'm going to do? I'm going to just go ahead and plug this in to the outer corner. Now with these pigments, purples are kind of difficult to create. So what you want to do is actually build them up to the, to the point that you want them to be. Don't let them, you know, puss out. Let them come through how you want them to be. So I'm just going to blend this into the crease. And then I'm also going to keep in the natural shape of my eye. I'm going to go ahead and kind of wing this out. See how I did that? I brought it up. And then there I'm just connecting it to go back in. So, like I said, build it on up. You don't want them to just not be popping through. So here, we're going to go ahead and push on this. Now, with this purple, I do have a little bit of fallout. However, I think it's the larger reflex in this actual shade. So not necessarily the color in general, it's just the reflexes are on the larger side and what's not small enough to stay is not going to stay. Yeah, definitely the reflex is falling out there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is actually bring this all the way across the actual crease. Just to make sure it's in there. And then, wipe off the excess. And then blend that into your transition. little circular motions to make sure it's blended all the way through. Now going back in with your transition shade, you just want a little bit and then make sure those two shades kind of just lightly kiss together. So blend those out. Blend it completely out. Wipe off your brush, and that's a really good tip that most people don't do. Wipe it off, make sure you're not overdoing, because then you're going to end up with a straight line thinking you're blending. Alright, so now I'm going in with this fourth color here, which is kind of like a lighter purple. And I'm just going to coat the whole eyelid in that purple. This one here actually pokes through pretty well, I think. So literally the whole eyelid this one here got some sparkles to it as well not as big as reflexes as the darker shade and that's why it's not having any fallout so I, that's how I really really know it's the big um, reflexes that's the word I'm looking for is reflexes alright so Back to the makeup, I guess. We're just going to coat that whole eye in this purple. And as, of course, as always, what do we do? We wipe the excess off and then make sure they're blended together very, very well. Now for the inner corner here, what I have is that transition shade. But we're going to kind of pack it in there for the punch. So we're just going to literally pack that right up in there. So that way we're getting a nice open eye. Lighter colors on the inside, darker colors to the outside. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like it. Now just to bring it out just a little bit more, 
I want to bring that darkest purple in really heavy for that outer wing. We're going to also bring it in here. And then bring that kiss of lighter shade right back and then blend that in there. Now what I also did for the eye is bring this, what I use for my transition shade of course, we're going to bring that just a little bit through the under eye. And then we're taking that eyelid shade and we're just going to smoke out this bottom. Now that did give me just a little bit of fallout so what you'll do is take a powder brush and just brush it away. Not that big of a deal. It's not going to ruin your look. It's not going to smudge on you because these are some good, good, good products. Alright, so I'm going to take the darkest and that eyelid shade and then see if that takes. There we go. Then we're going to make sure this outer corner is dark and so dark that it looks like someone gave us a black eye. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me go ahead and apply my Benefit Mascara and I'll be back for my final saying. Alright peeps, so this is the eye look. Now, I felt like I could not call it a complete look without actually hitting it with the fabulous The Gloss. This is in Softcore Sparkle. So in honor of the Bloodlust collection coming out here in a couple of days, we're going to go ahead and apply this gloss to my lovely lips. We're going to go ahead and set it off with the gloss topper. So, uh -huh. you guys, this stuff smells so good. Alright, and I am going to go ahead and mention the giveaway, of course. So, for the giveaway, of course, you must be subscribed. You must like this video, drop me one comment, and then also be following me on Twitter. I just went ahead and jumped back on Twitter just to, you know, give it a go. So, my Twitter handle is at DrewKid19. Definitely follow me there. And this contest will be open until St. Patrick's Day, just to give everyone enough time to see the video, get to all formats of the video, and abide by all the rules to the video. Now, what you would receive in this lovely giveaway is some Morphe products. So what I have are Posh Lashes. And then also the 35R Ready Set Gold Morphe Palettes. So, if you want to be in the giveaway for these here, definitely subscribe. Definitely leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up, and follow me on Twitter at DrewKid19. That's 1-9. So you can be entered into this giveaway. So... Without further ado, this is the completed look, you guys. Um, overall, 
I like how the purples came out. I like how they blended together and gives me a nice little snatched look. In the palette, not very much fallout. I did go in with four of these shades. And as you see, there's one, two, three, four, five purples. But of course, the one came out looking blue. So, what do you guys think? Do you think this look actually came out snatched? Does it look like someone punched me in the eye? Let me know in the comments as one of the qualifying events for the giveaway. Anyway, you guys, this was fun. Um, Twisted Beauties, I will once again drop all that information and the giveaway details down below. So go ahead and check that out. Also will be all of my other social medias. I did also create a Facebook group for the Makeup Forevers. So if you want to be added to that group, I will drop that link and you could definitely come and drop your looks and enter into contest there as well. If you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're new here subscribe click the notifications and drop a comment let me know how you guys feel about this let me know how you guys feel about the bloodlust palace let me know how you guys feel in general i want to help you guys feel the best you could be that's the point of makeup is having fun expressing yourself being creative and you know just going all out and that is what I have for the video, you guys. I want to go ahead and thank you so much for watching. And you guys have a good day slash night. Depending on when you're watching this. Who knows? But see you later.